Afternoon guys, uh, lighting's not great here today because it's really sunny out there, so I've got to shut the shutters, otherwise you can't see me. But anyway, I uh, just want to talk about the family permit or family visa. Um, it came up in a conversation three days ago. Uh, there's a guy that's moved near us that, uh, with his wife that they come from the Philippines and they're settling here but weren't aware you could actually go back to the UK. Once you're a resident in Spain, which show, which normally involves showing that you've got a income through a job, whatever, you can then apply to the British Embassy for a family permit, which is basically to travel the UK. Um, a lot of people have done that over the last few years. It's not something I'm interested in, but a lot of people have used it for bypassing this 18,600 rule related to immigration. The reason it's relevant to a lot of people out in the Philippines is a number of people have contacted me about wanting to go back to the UK, but their biggest issue is their pension is below the 18,600 threshold and they're not interested in going back to work, understandably. Um, this actually bypasses that. Um, I just thought I'd bring it up because even when there's a separation with the EU, the, the, at the moment, if you get in while it's still in the EU, they will have the same rights as an EU citizen. Um, from what I believe, because you're a resident of Spain and transferred to the UK, you've done that under the EU rules. As such, you're protected under the EU citizenship rules, um, the EU law, um, because that's going to be one of these things. I'm sure they're going to turn around and be doing this with the UK wanting more power for itself and less residents and business. So I can see it's going up and down. And while that's going on, a lot of guys can still bring their partners over to the UK. In the same way, a lot of um, women can bring their husbands over. And they do. They do. Um, I'm going to remember a lot of groups relating to immigration issues because obviously when we come to Spain it's good to get involved in the groups that are discussing what the different stages where they had to go to process this, do that, or whatever. Um, but for us we're staying in Spain. We had no intention to go to the UK in the first place but it was just to come up in a conversation the other night and I just thought Maybe some people aren't aware of it still but this is where the whole Schengen route come from. Uh, Syringa, Syringa Singh. Um, there's a book by David Bloor, that's David and then B L O O R, uh, that actually explains it in good detail. Um, me and David chat, chat from time to time. Um, but uh, yeah, well worth having a read of that if, you try, if you're looking to go to the UK. Because, um, in all honesty, we've all paid our taxes and I think we're sort of victimised because of the EU open network to the UK and I I firmly put it at Tony Blair's um, feet when he openly agreed that even when other members of his parliament and his party had actually turned around and said that the freedom of movement is too open and they wanted to restrict it a bit. But anyway guys, just want to share that. Thanks for watching.